Hi everyone and welcome to Lake Oswego United Church of Christ. My name is Adam Erickson and today I want to talk with you about something that families can do together in order to prepare for our readings this Sunday at church. So last Sunday we read the Beatitudes and right after the Beatitudes Jesus goes into what is called in youth ministry an object lesson. An object lesson is where you take some physical object and say, this is the spiritual aspect of this object. So what Jesus does is he takes salt and light and says, these are metaphors for the spiritual walk. And he starts off with salt. He says, you are the salt of the earth. Uh, and what does it mean to be salt? Well, he doesn't say. And so I assume he's asking us to do some thinking about this metaphor. What does it mean to be salt? Well, uh, salt can be added to something to provide flavor. Uh, it can also be a preservative. Uh, in the ancient world, they used salt in order to preserve meat. And it can also be thrown over the shoulder for good luck. Don't tell Pastor Jenny that I did that. But salt can also be used to melt things and to uh, destroy things. Uh, it can corrode things. So I used to live in Chicago and we would use salt in order to melt the snow, but it would get on the cars and the salt would start to corrode uh, the cars. So salt is, has these very good things, good qualities to it, and also has some destructive qualities to it. Uh, so talk with your children about uh, what metaphors they can come up with salt, and you can provide these metaphors too, and in what way are we supposed to be like salt in the world? Maybe we are called to give flavor to the world. But maybe there are some things within ourselves and also things within the world that, that need to be corroded away. Maybe there's hatred within our own selves that salt can act as a kind of a corroder and get rid of. The other metaphor that Jesus uses is light. And just like you are the salt of the world, you are also the light of the world. But Jesus doesn't say how we are supposed to be light in the world. He just says to be light. So what are the ways in which we can be light in the world? Light helps us to see and move around. Light can help us to cook things. Jesus talks about being a city on a hill with a light on it. And this in the ancient world was uh, like a lighthouse. And it helped people who were lost to find their way home. So in what ways can we help people to find their way to safety, to find their way home, both in a spiritual sense and in a literal sense? How can we care for other human beings who may be lost? And how can we care for ourselves when we go through moments where we are lost too? Where can we go? Hopefully the church will be a light in the world, a community that accepts all people and loves all people. And that, I think, is, is one of our missions uh, to live into. So those are some thoughts about salt and light. Do you think these are good metaphors? What metaphors would you pick? I might pick sugar. I like sugar. Or how about ice cream? Yeah, I'd pick some ice cream. In what ways is the spiritual life like ice cream? It's cold and tasty, and it comes in many different flavors. Chocolate chip cookie dough. Mmm, so good. Anyway, hope to see you this Sunday at Lake Oswego United Church of Christ at 1030. Until then, grace and peace be with you. Bye-bye.